Hey, what's going on guys? Today we have an order here from Ubiquity. We're gonna be checking out, we're gonna set it up, and I'm gonna show you how to set these point to points up. Let's get started. Okay, so in the order today, we have a Nano Station AC Loco, another Nano Station, as well as a long range ethernet extender. So that'll be interesting too. We'll try that out later. Okay, so this video is primarily gonna be about the Nano Stations, but like I said, we have the long range ethernet extender as well as a PoE adapter here that I ordered in, um, recently as well. And this PoE adapter as well, because these do not come with PoE adapters. So we're gonna put this to the side. Let's set up these Nano Stations. Okay, so in the box we have obviously the Nano Station and that is about it. And we also have the mount for it, to pull mount it. But besides that, that is just the Nano Station. All right, so we are now here. We are outside in the building where I have all my point to points at. So we're gonna be taking a look here at the Nano Station. Like I said, we just unbox this uh, up in the office. So this is what we got working with here. Literally just Nano Station, AC Loco. Um, that is like really all that there is. It did not come with pretty much anything else in the box. So um, besides that here, I'm going to plug my laptop into ethernet from the switch. Uh, I'm going to also plug in all of the nano stations to their PoE adapters. I'm gonna do that, we'll be right back after that. All right, so as you can see here, we are logged into UISP. If you don't have a US UISP controller, uh, I would highly recommend getting one. So right here, I'm seeing the message here. But what I will show you instead is I will show you how to adopt it uh, just directly onto from the device. So if we go in here, let's click on proceed. So basically, I'm just typing in the IP address of my nano station here. We're going to continue setting this up. We're going to agree to the terms of service, select our country, and continue. Username is going to be... Okay, so we're going to continue. And just like that, looks like we have our nano station AC5 loco set up here. So that was just pretty simple. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to system. Now, if you don't have a UISP server, you're not going to be able to do this, unfortunately. But we're going to first set our time zone. We're going to disable our management radio. And we're going to continue on. So we're going to just go here and we're going to save changes. We're going to actually say this is master um, nano station. And we're going to save changes here. Next, we're going to click on UISP. If you have a US, UISP configuration, you're going to click Add Key here. So to get that configuration, you're going to go here to UISP. We're going to go to Devices. We're going to copy UISP key to clipboard, paste it on in here, and just like that, as you can see, it says Warning, Lost Connection to, to the Device. That is perfectly fine. We're just going to wait here. Look, it's connecting, and by the looks of things, it's almost connected. So we're going to let this continue for a minute and we're gonna be right back. That is that, and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on our Wi-Fi, because I have it turned off for my Ethernet adapter, but we're going to connect to the management radio, local 5 AC, and if we go to Wi-Fi settings here, we can find that our IP address, maybe, we can find right here, our IP address is 192.168.172.93, so if we type in 192.168.172.1, we should be able to navigate over here to our management interface. Just like this, we're going to proceed, and we're going to select our country. We're going to continue this. So this is basically the same setup we just went through. Yeah, so same setup we just went through. We're going to click Save. It is going to log us in now to our nano station. And so that is that. We're going to go back. We're going to dismiss. So it says the management radio is on for another eight hours, which is great. We're going to go here, System. Sorry, we're going to go to Wireless. We're going to turn on point-to-point -point mode. Okay, so it's already on. We're going to select channel width is fine. We're going to create an SSID here, so we're going to call this Beam Networks PTP2. And we're going to select, that's fine. I've typed in our pre-shared key. So basically, that is all you have to do. You're going to click Save Changes, and that says it applied our changes, which is fantastic. All right, so as I was totally, completely saying, what you got to do, actually, is you're going to go to Wireless. So I'm on the master station here. You're going to turn on Access Point Mode. You're going to configure a control frequency list. You're going to go Edit and you'll just select a couple of frequencies you want to use. does not necessarily matter. You just want to make sure they're not used in your current area. And you're going to click Save Changes. And then the other side, on the other end, basically, is just going to have point-to-point -point mode on. 
and it'll automatically connect and as you can see we're about getting 600 or so megabits per second it says that we are currently 984 feet apart oh 300 meters oh yeah 984 feet so i'm not quite sure exactly why it says that but i can assure you they are right next to each other so tomorrow what i'll do is i'm going to go outside and i'm going to do a range test on these devices we're going to see how far they can go and we're going to see if we can still get the same speeds that i'm currently getting on my current point to points which as i was saying is the lightbeam 5ac so yep that is about all for this video guys thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know this is a pretty straightforward setup, I would say. Really just got to configure the access point, configure point to point, plug them in, and you are pretty much good to go. I can't believe how easy it is these days to set up a point to point link. So, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.